This is the story of Map of the Stars, and the quest's original appearance slated for Diablo 1, which was cut from the final game due to it profoundly changing how players experienced facing the Lord of Terror Diablo entirely. The quest can be initiated by entering Hell Level 16 and entering the portal to the Unholy Altar. After we have learned of the treachery of the Archbishop Lazarus, so with his staff in hand, we head into his lair. Abandon your foolish quest. All that awaits you is the wrath of my master. You are too late to save the child. Now you will join him. Face, fight, and fell the Archbishop Lazarus. We can open a large chest in the corner of the room in which we fight him and pick up the map of the stars. Uh huh. And it initiates the quest. Looking at the map, it shows a sun in the sky and some type of lunar or star cycle. To learn more, we head to Deckard Kane in town. Upon showing him the map, he says, Your story is quite grim, my friend. Lazarus will surely burn in hell for his horrific deed. The boy that you describe is not our prince. But I believe that Albrecht may yet be in danger. The symbol of power that you speak of must be a portal in the very heart of the labyrinth. Know this, my friend. The evil that you move against is the Dark Lord of Terror. He is known to mortal men as Diablo. It was he who was imprisoned within the labyrinth many centuries ago, and I fear that he seeks to once again sow chaos in the realm of mankind. You must venture through the portal and destroy Diablo before it is too late. Our time is running short. I sense his dark power building, and only you can stop him from attaining his full might. Although Albrecht is not the boy we saw on Lazarus' altar, we now have confirmed to face the Lord of Terror himself, Diablo. To make matters much worse, we have unwittingly started the quest, the Lost Stars, in tandem. Not only do we have to defeat Diablo, but something foreboding, it seems, is set to transpire. Trying to somewhat hurriedly get perspective, we head to Griswold, who informs us. I've never seen a map of this sort before. Where'd you get it? Ugh, although I have no idea how to read this, Kane or Adrian may be able to provide the answers that you seek. So, we have a second lead. Adria, the witch, and her wisdom may help us before we head out of town. But first we speak to Farnham, perhaps one last time, for his guidance, to which he bemuses. Listen here, come close. I don't know if you know what I know. But you have really got something here. That's a map. My god, that was insightful. We will miss you, Farnham. But there's no time to reminisce, so we head to Pepin who says, I can't make much of the writing on this map, but perhaps Adria or Cain could help you decipher what this refers to. I can see that it is a map of the stars in our sky, but any more than that is beyond my talents. Again, it seems like Adria may be our best bet, but what of the map of the stars? Maybe the moons will align like some old ritual? Popping over yonder to Wirt first, he says. I've been looking for a map, but that certainly isn't it. You should show that to Adria. She can probably tell you what it is. I'll say one thing. It looks old, and old usually means valuable. Ah, a great reference to Wirt's own lost treasure quest we just completed. Speaking of old and valuable, let's try Jillian's grandmother to see if her visions can help. The best person to ask about that sort of thing would be our storyteller. Kane is very knowledgeable about ancient writings, and that is easily the oldest looking piece of paper that I have ever seen. It seems everyone is palming this off to Kane, rightfully so, a fabled horodrum dealing with an old, unreadable map. 
Yet, we should also seek out Adria. As we head over to her shack, we spy Ogden, the tavern owner, in the light of his door and briefly approach him to say, If the witch can't help you and suggests that you see Cain, what makes you think that I would know anything? It sounds like this is a very serious matter. You should hurry along and see the storyteller, as Adria suggests. It sounds like I was meant to see Adria first to piece this one together, but Diablo is always fun how they jump around with the narrative. Regardless, we see Adria one last time at a shack beyond the border of town to help us decipher this map. Oh, I'm afraid this does not bode well at all. This map of the stars portends great disaster, but its secrets are not mine to tell. The time has come for you to have a very serious conversation with the storyteller. Well, that honestly wasn't very helpful. It seems like Cain was our best bet, so we know what we have to do already. Kill Diablo. Heading down beneath the pentagram near the unholy altar's portal in Terra's Domain. In the north room of Terra's Domain, if we step on four stones, we face Doom Lord Gamar. Give me a sacrifice. But beware, killing him quickly is crucial as he will literally overrun the entire lair with his spawned demons if left unchecked. When he is defeated, the East Room opens and we face the uber-strong Bloodlord, the Destroyer. When he is defeated, the West Room opens and we face the Mage Benedict the Black. Here in the West Room, if you touch the three crucified skeletons, the South Room opens and you can finally face the Lord of Terror, Diablo. However, Upon entering Terra's domain, if you fail to kill Diablo before one hour passes, your map of the stars shows the stars align and turn red, and Diablo is shown in a cutscene to power up. We hastily head back to town to speak to Cain, who gives us some grave news. I am sure that you tried your best, but I fear that even your strength and will may not be enough. Diablo is now at the height of his earthly power, and you will need all your courage and strength to defeat him. May the light protect and guide you, my friend. I will help in any way that I am able. Facing Diablo at this stage makes him almost impossible to beat, and he will gleefully stomp you and claw at your corpse for fun. This is the crux of the map of the stars. Basically, he has an enraged timer on top of the usual Diablo quest if you pick it up. However, restarting a game also resets the timer. We can fight our way again through Terra's domain and finally slay the Lord of Terra. Instead of the ending cinematic that we get in the vanilla game, you can now loot Diablo, a nice touch thanks to the Beelzebub mod linked in the description, as well as see Albrecht's macabre corpse. And if you pick up the soul stone and use it, it will end the game and initiate the cinematics, resetting Diablo afterwards. And the map of the stars countdown also resets, hence why it was initially removed as it profoundly changed how players would encounter the end game of Diablo. But what did you think? Would you prefer to leave it in or take it out? As it forces you to rush through the end game and face Diablo, otherwise basically get stomped.
Also, this is the final episode of cut content for Diablo. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your comments with your profound insights into the game and also how much you have been appreciative of this series. It really is heartwarming and makes me want to make so much more content. I am currently hunting for more content based on Diablo and other RPGs in a similar style so I can maintain a consistent upload. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay up to date with the posts and many thanks for making this series an absolute joy to play. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, Wanderer. The soul stone burns with hell fire as an eerie red glow blurs your vision. Fresh blood flows into your eyes and you begin to hear the tormented whispers of the damned. You have done what you knew must be done. The essence of Diablo is contained for now. You pray that you have become strong enough to contain the demon and keep him at bay. Although you have been fortified by your quest, you can still feel him clawing his way up from the dark recesses of your soul. Fighting to retain control, your thoughts turn toward the ancient mystic lands of the Far East. Perhaps there, beyond the desolate wastes of Aranach, you will find an answer. Or perhaps, salvation.